I have to tell you about my favorite Talladega moment since we're going to head to that beautiful 2.66 mile super speedway in Alabama. It was 2003 and <laughs> it's been on Twitter this week. It's pretty funny because my crew guys that were a part of that race that day uh, have been talking about what I was saying on the radio about what a piece of crap car I was driving and how I couldn't pass anyone and I couldn't keep up with anyone. And my crew chief, Slugger Labby, he made a decision late in the race to try to stretch our fuel mileage and get our car up front. I'd been back in the traffic whole day long, couldn't make any moves, and we got up front, and that thing came to life, and it was running. And we had the lead with just a couple, three laps to go, and Elliot Sadler flips down the back straightaway, goes tumbling into turn three. NASCAR throws the red flag, and we come to a stop. I'm in first, Dale Jr.'s in second, Jeff Gordon's right there battling with us as well, and we're under a red flag. So now it's going to be a sprint to the checker. This was a green-white checker before there was such thing as green-white checker. We didn't go into NASCAR overtime, but we certainly had to finish it to the checker with a green flag, white flag, checkered finish. Come off turn two. I got the lead. Coming down to get the white. Feel really happy about where I'm at. Jeff Gordon gets a nice run on the outside of Dale Jr., goes to the top side. I go up and block him, dive to the bottom, block off Dale Jr., was able to hold off Jeff Gordon, and won at Talladega Super Speedway. And why that was important to me, I grew up in Kentucky. And as a kid in Kentucky, one of the best trips of the whole summer for me was when we would go to Alabama to watch Daryl race at Talladega. I was so intimidated by that place. It freaked me out because... People got hurt there. There were bad crashes. And, and my brother was out there racing. But I always thought, man, if I could ever get a chance to race on those banks. And I did. I got my chance. And I got a victory back in 2003. That's a special moment to me. It's a trophy that I cherish. And so so I, I was talking to Jeff Gordon a couple of months ago. And I said, I just put that perfect block on you when I went up high. And I was able to win the race. He said, that wasn't a perfect block. I messed up. I went up too high when you made that block. I'm like, Damn, Jeff, can't you give a brother some credit? I thought I did a perfect job. And by the way, if it wasn't a perfect block, then why didn't you win? Think about that, Jeff. And for all those crew guys that I said that car was a piece of crap, man, I'm sorry. We got to victory lane, though. And I got to pop out of my hatch. We had a roof hatch. And I won, and my victory celebration was me hanging out the roof. That was a pretty good day in NASCAR to me.